What's up, YouTube? So today on First Take, they were talking about uh, Rob Gronkowski. Um, they're thinking he might contemplate uh, retiring. Uh, this is going to be his third Super Bowl. And out of that, he's already he's won one. And he's probably most likely going to win this one. Depending on who you talk to. But uh, yeah, he, he's pretty much done everything he can do in a, in a career. You know, he's played with the Hall of Famer, which would be Tom Brady, and a couple other Hall of Famers. Been to Super Bowls, won Super Bowls. So he's pretty much done everything you can do in the NFL. So they're thinking about he might retire because he also he's had uh, multiple surgeries. I think on his back, I think on his knee, you know, on his elbow. That's why he always wears a, the arm brace. So he, they're thinking that he might retire. And maybe Tom Brady too. I don't want to. I don't want to speculate, but you know, it, you, generally you like to uh, leave on top. So let's see what they have to say in first take. You think this will be Gronk's final game? I think it's a good possibility that it will be. And the only reason I say that, I don't know the man. I've never really spoken to him other than one time in my career. But I will tell you that this is the same Rob Gronkowski who was contemplating retirement last season, uh, particularly when the New England Patriots were willing to move him to Detroit. He wasn't having that. That'd be a bad move. That would have been a terrible move to uh, trade Gronkowski. I mean, what Italian in the NFL is there that is uh, even on... Uh, Gronkowski's level. None. Actually, there's there's some, but I I need to check it out. But anyways, uh, that's just I mean to, to even think about getting rid of Gronkowski, I mean it's out of control. Especially everything he's done for the team, all the Super Bowls he's been to, uh, you know, it's just that's just a bad move. If he were going to play, you only want to play with Tom Brady. I suppose you can use that as an impetus to surmise. I'll say if Tom Brady is still going to be here and who's going to stop him from doing so and contributing to this team, particularly if he's willing to accept a deal that's primarily incentive based. Having said all of that, I think that when you consider the back injuries, the knee injuries, the arm injuries, etc., he's been through such a bevy of injuries throughout his career. If he were to win the Super Bowl and perform in spectacular fashion and it positions him to profit exponentially off of that level of success, could I see him electing to walk away saying that I've done all I can do? I've been a champion multiple times over in the process. I could see him potentially doing that. So I think the chances are better than 50-50 that this is the last uh, game of his NFL career. I agree. Um, he's clearly not the same guy, but I will say this, you know, Vince Carter hasn't been the same guy in years. He doesn't play the same kind of sport, obviously, in years, but he's had this amazing career where he's transformed into another kind of player. That option is on the table for Gronk. Like, the question is, is Gronk still a good tight end? Yeah, he's a really good tight end. He's still a size mismatch with good... So, I think last year, Gronkowski got 64 receptions for, like, 680 yards. Uh, and he averaged 14 yards a catch. So that's pretty good for a guy that's had the surgeries and everything that he's had and as long as he's been in the league. I think he's been in the league coming up about 9 or 10 years. So that's, that's decent numbers. Decent numbers. Hands. Um, he is a great blocking tight end, particularly when you need him most to be. And he can be used in a variety of ways, brilliant ways, by Belichick when they were doubling Gronk. When the Chiefs started doubling him, Belichick would keep him home. He would keep him near the line of scrimmage and open stuff up on the field. Like you can, he can, he can still be a valuable player if he can get his mind around the fact that he's not the same kind of player anymore. That'll be his choice. My guess is this will be it, but I think he's still a valuable player. <clears throat> so if this is it for uh, Gronkowski, you know, uh, on the other hand, I, I can understand, you know, uh, you might want to come back because you've been to four Super Bowls in a row. Uh, well, actually, this would be the third one. Uh, and if they win this one, that will be two out of three. You might as well come back and go for a fourth one. I mean, you've been to three Super Bowls in a row and ready. You might as well see if you can go to a fourth one. That's what I always said about John Elway. When they went back to back, I think it was at 99 or 98, when the Denver Broncos won it. You know, I was like, you might as well come back for one more. I know you want to go out on top, but you know, hey, you know what? We're running the table. We're hot right now. If we're keeping the same team together, you might as well run it again. 
I feel like this is going to be it for Rob Gronkowski for a couple reasons. One, Stephen A. alluded to it, you know, before the season started. You know, the Patriots were in talks to try to trade him to Detroit. And Rob Gronkowski basically put the kibosh on that. He only wanted to play with Tom Brady. So that kind of gives you an idea of, like, this dude, either he's going to play with Tom Brady or he's not going to play with anyone. Um, the bevy of injuries that this dude has had, he's had multiple back surgeries, ACL, forearm, all these things add up over time, okay? And you have to worry about the quality of life after football. Rob Gronkowski can be a big, can be just as big of a star after the game of football than he is now. I mean, this is a guy that probably has his eye towards Hollywood, being you know, being in the action. Uh, I definitely do not agree with that, uh, Mr. Woody. Uh, Gronkowski, he's a funny guy, but he's a funny guy, kind of in an annoying kind of way after a while. You know, I don't see him being able to transition over to Hollywood. He might be able to play in some stupid movies, but I, I can't see him doing anything major. Like what, what LeBron did. What was that, Train Wreck or whatever movie LeBron made? But it was, I can't see Gronkowski in Hollywood. He's that funny type of guy that gets kind of annoying after a while. So I, I don't really quite see that happening. Movies and so on and so forth. So... Um, is he the same tight end that he once was? No, absolutely not. Um, he's been valuable being able to block and do all those type of things. But I think Rob Gronkowski has an eye towards, you know, uh, things outside the game if, if the Patriots were to go on to win the Super Bowl. All right, let's move on to Will, our final topic Will here. Damian, yeah. Will, yeah. Damien, Matt. Hold on, hold on, Will. Uh, yeah. Just so y'all know, for whatever it's worth, you heard my position on the matter. I just got a text message from somebody with incredibly close ties to the New England Patriots that says Rob Gronkowski is not retiring because...